What is up, all you guys and girl guys? I'm out here today trying to get my tan on. Gonna have GoPro, uh, GoPro tan lines. But uh, a little something I want to talk to y'all about today. We're going back to the house pond just to play around. And we're talking swim baits today. Now, this is a, a very little, I want to say it's probably three inches, a three inch uh, soft, I guess it's a soft plastic with a treble at the bottom and a hook at the top as well. I believe the company is Storm, but I've had this one for so long now that I just, I don't even remember what brand it is. But I'm gonna go out here today. I'm gonna try and catch a few of them. The reason I'm using the smaller profile, a lot of these guys are looking for a bigger bite right now and throwing these big glide baits. Uh, I'm not gonna have anything in my pond that's gonna eat anything as big as a, a, a large glide bait right now. But I do have little minnows that look pretty identical to this exact bait. So we're gonna match the hatch and see if we can't get on a few today. So we're actually throwing this little bait on a, this is the Lou's Mach, Mach 1, I believe, speed spool. And a, actually this is a custom made rod I had made, it's seven foot, medium heavy, uh, real soft tip. I actually use this for all my Texas rigs, but I tied this on it today because I'm expecting a lot of smaller bites. So I wanna be able to feel everything that fish is doing. So, but uh, the water's super clear right now. There is a ton of bait fish swimming around. The main reason, I've been out here this morning already for a few minutes. And I just threw all of my line off of my pole, guys. All of it, every single bit. Um, I'm gonna go down there and see if I can find my bait. Wow, what a... What a start. I didn't know there was that little bit of line on this pole. I did not know there was that little bit of line. All right, guys. So as you can see, those little holes, my dumb ass, I don't, I don't tie it at the last little bit because I put so much string on here anyway. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking. But I'm going to go get another rod and reel and get tied up. And uh, I'll be back in a minute, hopefully. I, I don't know. All right. So, we're headed back to the pond. Uh, swim bait tied on. Uh, yeah, this isn't the exact same one. Because y'all just wanted me to sling my last one of those into the pond. Because I'm an idiot. Such an idiot. Anyway, uh, as you may tell, different combo setup as well this is a abu garcia black max combo real real decent combo for the price actually it is also though uh, a seven foot medium heavy action i don't think it's gonna tell me yeah i didn't think so um but anyway seven foot medium heavy uh this is my typically what i throw my lighter swim baits on anyway and i should have bought out here from the beginning and i might still have a bait but guess what i'm an idiot today's video's name I'm an idiot. Matt is an idiot. Anyway, let's get back to fishing. Well, here's a little, a little fun nugget. Well, there's a big ass frog just sitting over there. Wow, that was that was really country. Are you from Louisiana? Well, yes, I am. Yes, I am. I am from the LA's, the real LA. I still see my line sitting here. Sorry, I got I got sidetracked with the whole LA shit. Um, <laughs> I see my line sitting here, so I'm going to try and use this to hook it. Because I would really like that bait back. Uh-oh, 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 here we go, pop -ball. And guess what? Just like that, we're back in the game. I have my little one. Now, the reason I want, oh, I like this bait that I have so much. I'm going to leave the other one tied up for now. But the reason I wanted this one back so much is this one is actually more of a minnow, uh, minnow design. Whereas the other one I just showed you guys is <clears throat> more like a little small perch or uh, a bluegill maybe. Same color actually, but different, different body styles. And I've been, well, I've been skunked on one and not the other one. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna leave that other one tied on for now. 
but I'm glad we got that out of the pond and uh, got my bait back. You, sir, can just do me a solid and hang out right there. I'll be back for you later. All right. Now, let's get to fishing, boys. Got my bait back. I'm happy. Got some string that I got to pick up. Water clarity is awesome right now. I came out here this morning and the water looked looked like doo-doo. That's it. So where I just casted, we're looking straight that way. I hope you guys can see that. I'm not just like pointing at the ground. Um, there's a li nice little ledge right there where it goes from about two foot to however deep the rest of the pond is. And it's real nice to uh, get on the edge. There's also grass. There's two big snakes swimming across my pond right now. Two big snakes. Two big snakes. What should I do? What should I do? Should I catch them? Go away, snake. Go away, snake. Go away, snake. Oh, I missed him. I missed him. Go away, snake. Go away, snake. Go away, snake. Hey, snake. Go away. I said, go away, snake. Yeah. Oh, you going underwater? You boozy, huh? You fancy like that? I'm going to get your brother over here. Hey, go away, snake. Go away, snake. Go away. Go away, snake. I say you go away. Hey, I got to watch my back. His brother might come up behind me. I say go away, snake. I say go away. That is a big snake, boys. That is a big snake. Oh, yeah. Get on out of here, snake. They don't know I got a 12-gauge waiting at the inside of the house for them. But that's later. They get a few more days of summer. They get a few more days. I'm a snake. I'm a slippery. Oh, there's a little bitty snake right there. I didn't see him. Oh my god. That scared the poop -poo out of me. It <laughs> was right there by my feet. <laughs> I really I really don't like snakes. Pet snakes? Fine. Have them. These little wild little shits running around all over the place. Trying to kill me? You trying to kill me? Yeah, not gonna happen. Fun fact, I can see the brick that I tied to that tree. In case any of y'all were wondering. Oh, I thought I... Oh, Mr. Snake. Oh, Mr. Snake. Where you at? I know you in here. No, I know those are probably just water snakes. I know what you guys are thinking. Matt. Don't hurt the snakes. Well, the snakes hurt me, okay? Because back in the day, my boy Adam, my boy Adam, guys, got tricked by a snake. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying all uh, all snakes are bad, but uh, there's some snakes in the grass out there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I shouldn't talk like that. Y'all can tell from, I'm like from Louisiana. Huh? Say stupid shit like that. It's of... Uh, <laughs> comedy gold if you ask me but who am i i'm just i'm just a regular old guy i'm no comedian I'm no bert I'm no tom I'm no joe I'm just just matt Are there any comedians named matt doubt it we're not funny <sighs> yeah they're paying attention but i i have <laughs> no idea what i'm doing out here I'm just an idiot with a fishing pole. My father's home. Me father. My stinky father. He smells like poo poo. He's a dirty boy. Ooh. That's bad. That's bad. What you need me to go come help you with? 
All right, to be continued. So guys, I'm not gonna go back fishing right now. Uh, I got a few more things I got to done around the house, but I'm gonna go ahead and upload this video anyway because I think it is probably five minutes, five to seven minutes, something like that, of some of my my funniest stuff I think I've said. I th I think I'm hilarious. Y'all might think I'm an idiot, which we've already discussed previously. I am an idiot. But we're going to go ahead and put it up there, and I'm going to let you guys check it out. It should be a fun video. Let me know what you guys think. Oh, yeah. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Let me know what you guys think.